Hi there. Backle up, folks, AGI is around the corner. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the powerful Claude Sonnet in Loams to build fully fledged web applications from simple prompts. To start, let's select the Webcraft Maestro personality. This personality is tailored for building standalone web apps that can run on PC, Mac, iPhone, Android, Raspberry Pi, or anything that has a modern web browser. This personality is not verbose. It just answers with the code. You just give it the instructions for building your code then wait for it to build the code. The output is always an inline single file project with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This is tailored for a future upgrade to make the personality build interactive apps for LOMS. Once the code is ready, you can build it using the build button, then run it by selecting the link generated by the builder. The build file is a HTML file in your discussion folder, so you can take it and then put it on a server or just use it offline. The built application is yours. As you can see, the built app is exactly as requested. It has a help section, a settings section to select the language and it has multiple to-do projects where we can add tasks. The nature of discussion in Loams makes it possible to upgrade the application and enhance it by just asking your personal web coder to do it. Alright, let's dive into testing our app. First off, we can seamlessly add tasks, use audio input, and even have the app read our output. We can mark tasks as done and remove them effortlessly. Essentially, everything we envisioned is already built in with just one go. How cool is that? But wait, there's more. Our app boasts persistent data. So, if you turn it off and reload it, your data remains intact, stored locally in your browser. No more losing track of your tasks. And guess what? This app isn't just confined to your desktop. You can download and run the generated app on your phone, whether it's an iPhone or Android. Imagine having your custom app right in your pocket, running seamlessly on any device. The potential of this tool is limitless. You can build practically anything you want. However, there's a small caveat, the context size. Here, I'm using Claude Sonnet, which offers a whopping 200,000 tokens of context, quite a lot. The maximum output size is 4,096 tokens, but with Loams, there's no hitch. If the AI stops coding, just hit the continue button, and you're back on track. If you press the folder button, you can access the output folder of the discussion and so you can find the code as a HTML file. And as you can see, there is persistence in the data as I have opened this before and added a groceries list. Hi, it is Paris Neo from the future. The new version 9.9 .9 robot now has a special hidden panel that will allow you to code and see your creation be built in real time. Let's ask it to build a fully-fledged chess game. As you can see, as the AI is building the code, we can see the output in real time. Isn't that cool? Now that the game is ready let's test it. I'll accelerate the video a bit so that this doesn't get boring. Okay, the pieces can move, and we have turns. But I see that there are some problems here. The piece's motion is not really correct so let's ask it to fix that. Why is the king moving as if it was the queen? Okay, it looks like the king is moving correctly now but the pieces can run over each other which is not correct. Let's ask it to deal with that. Nice, the pieces are no more running on each other, but they are still not moving correctly. So let's ask the AI to fix it. Wow. 
Wonderful. Now all pieces are behaving correctly. Now let's add score and leaderboard. Because why not? Working like charm. Wait a minute. This is a checkmate. But it did not show it. No problem. Back to the writing board. Would you look at that? We have reached the maximum allowed tokens as in my configuration I did set it to 4026 instead of 4096. My bad. We have written about 500 lines of code. Well, no problem, we just press the continue button and Loms takes care of stitching the outputs for us. We can continue writing code way longer than the original 4096 tokens allowed by the model. Nice! The check was detected. This game has more than 600 lines of code. When I was younger I have coded it multiple times by myself in different languages. And this is the first time I coded in plain English. Isn't that wonderful? This is how we're going to code in the future. For now we still need to know the programming language pretty well because the AI is not perfect and may make some mistakes that need us to correct, and if we are not competent, then we'll be just stuck like idiots, but imagine in one year or two. Maybe as Imad said, there will be no coders in five years. Well, three because he said this two years ago. Okay, let's move on to another app. This time, let's create an application to monitor my weight over time, set objectives, and draw a curve of my progress. The app need to push me to each my goals. It will be usable on my phone or my PC and I'll be able to export my data between the app and other tools like Microsoft Excel or between my app and my app on different devices. Okay nice first try. We can see all the ideas we have asked the AI for. But let's enhance it further to add the date and allow editing and removing the entries. Done like a pro. Let's enhance it even further. And voila, a working app. Let's add export and also cheer the user when he reaches his goals. The app is now ready to be installed on my phone. 
I'll be posting all the apps I've built on my GitHub repository called AI underscore apps. As you can see, the evolution of coding is truly remarkable. Long ago, we used to code by punching holes in cards. Then came the era of assembly code and higher level programming languages like the good old basic and other first generation programming languages. As time went on, we have continuously built newer and higher level languages. Unless you are a driver writer, most people do not write low level code anymore. We continued building macros and libraries that hide complex code. And today, we have achieved the ultimate high level, which is just coding in plain English. Who knows, maybe the next step is coding directly through our brainwaves or something equally astonishing. The future holds endless possibilities. To people from the past, this would all seem like black magic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please download the release version of Loams from the repository, install it, test it, and share your experiences. It is open source and free. You can use both local and remote models. Don't forget to star the repo, give a thumbs up to the video, and ideally, subscribe to the channel. Now, the only limit is your imagination. See ya!